Hey friends, this is the Miss Bully from our Half Acre Homestead, and today I'm going to make stuffed bread for supper. Let's try that. So this is what we're going to use for our stuffed bread. Now folks, I just totally came up with this out of the blue. I'm sure there's a name for it, but I'm just going to call it stuffed potato bread, okay? Because what I'm using is a section of one of my loaves of potato bread. Um, it would be better if it was a whole loaf with uh, heels on each end, except that it's just Papa and I, right? So I just took a section out of my loaf. Gonna need an onion. Gonna need some ground meat. I think this is a, a beef pork mix and an egg. I'm going to actually grind up some dehydrated vegetables to add to it as well. And I'm probably going to maybe add some ketchup. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my meat and my egg into my KitchenAid. You can mix it by hand if you wish. And I'm going to preheat my oven for 350 degrees. You're also going to want a piece of tin foil big enough to wrap your loaf in. Now I'm going to take a sharp serrated knife and I'm just going to start. I don't want to go all the way through. I suppose you can but I'd rather keep some of the structure intact and I'm going to start cutting out these chunks and hollowing out my bread. You got to be really careful it's it's better to use bread that's more than day old. This kind of makes me think of uh, a tree grows in Brooklyn how Francie would go every week and buy six loaves of stale bread and they would use them for meals. I'm going to dump this in here. They would use them for meals in so many different ways that this made me think of this. Now I'm wondering if I should go all the way through or not. Well I think I actually went all the way through so let's just do this. Okay so the bread from the center of the loaf is what we are going to use in our meatloaf. Because we're basically making a meatloaf inside a loaf of bread, right? And I want some garlic powder too, because I think I'm going to cover this in garlic butter as well. You're witnessing it, folks. I'm, I'm doing this as we go, okay? This is a wing it recipe. Take the rest of these crumbs. Drop them right in there. I'm going to get myself some dehydrated veggies. I always like to add them some dehydrated, ground dehydrated vegetable, vegetables. Why? Because not only do you get extra nutrition and fiber, you also get something that is going to absorb excess moisture more than the bread will. And in go that somewhat powdered, somewhat not. And we're just going to, we like chunks of onion in our meatloaf. You don't want the chunks too, too big, but you want to know they're there. You don't want them too, too big because they, you know, it, then it takes them longer to cook. Okay, now let's get this going nice and slow. I'm going to add some ketchup for moisture. Okay. Now I'm going to add, I don't know why I didn't think of it, a little bit of Italian seasoning and a spoon of minced garlic. Now, you're going to put your hollowed out loaf. Now again, if you had a, you were doing this with a whole loaf of bread, you would cut the heels off. 
hollow it out, use the bread inside, and then when you stuff it, you would put the heels back on with a couple of toothpicks or a skewer, okay? And then wrap it in the foil. I'm using a section of a loaf, so we're gonna put this whole side down. Now you don't want your meatloaf to be too dry, but you also don't want it ooey gooey wet either. So here, I'm just gonna take my meat and I'm gonna roll it into an approximation of the size of this bread. Now you may think that I took all that bread out and that I would fill it back up, but the bread gets shrunken when it, you know, it kind of breaks down when it gets wet. So now we're just gonna make kind of a sausage and we're just gonna feed that right down in there like so and then we're gonna push and push some more gently you don't want to break your loaf of bread which I'm there almost doing that'll work okay now we're just gonna take takes our garlic butter here and we are just going to brush it all over this bread there we go. Let's flip this back over. Whoops. Oh, it's a good thing we're wrapping this up, folks, because my bread broke. This is why it's better to use more than day old bread. Like a later, a little bit of Italian seasoning. Ah, uh, what the heck? Yeah, a little bit of Parmesan on there. And I'm going to put some on the foil at the sides, too. Alrighty. You know what? I'm hoping. This looks pretty impressive. So now, I'm going to take my foil. And I'm going to encase my bread. As best I can and this is going into a 350 degree oven for about an hour okay folks this may be a total nightmare because Papa had something to do and asked me to save it and I just turned the oven off but let me tell you something it sure smells good it sure smells real good as soon as I open that oven door now let's have a look Because this has been in the uh, in the oven for an hour past the cooking time, just keeping warm. Oh my goodness! Mmm, mmm, mmm. Looks like hell. Looks like hell, but I'm drooling. So let's wait till Papa gets to the table. It is stuffed potato. Oh, excuse me, I got the hiccup. Stuffed potato bread. Meatloaf. It's meatloaf inside of bread. Yeah. Thanks, baby. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. With the hiccups. <laughs> Saying, you know, you don't always have to have just meatloaf. Meatloaf. If you got homemade bread, you can stuff it. And it's good. Take care. God bless. <laughs>